Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I talk about music production gear and things that interests me, often nerdy type of stuff. So my production drive where I store my Ableton Live projects, my music production projects, things like that was beginning to be full. I had to upgrade the internal SSD to something bigger. I landed on the Corsair MP600 Pro XT 2TB model in this video. I'm going to take it for a spin. I'm going to do some benchmarking, maybe not necessarily be benchmarking, but I'm going to try it in some gaming, copying some files and just see how it performs in real life. And uh, you can check the chapters below this video if you want to go straight into how it performs in games like, for example, Lost Ark and uh, other, other titles. I have some sponsored links with the driving question in the description below to Amazon. So if you're into getting a new drive, using my links will then help out the channel with no extra cost to you. So thanks for that. The drive I am replacing is a Samsung 950 Pro 512 gigabyte I bought almost six years ago, actually. The Samsung drive is still going strong. It's a really good drive, but it's uh, going into my son's PC now. He has recently got interested in ARC and that's a 200 gigabyte game. <laughs> so his 120 gig SSD didn't really cut it. That's also one reason I'm upgrading my SSD because you know, you have kids and they need stuff and it's, it's expensive to have kids as you probably maybe know or not. Anyways, so to fully utilize the speed of this drive, you need to have a computer that supports PCI Express 4 4X. You also should check your manual for your computer or your motherboard to see which slot on the motherboard you should install the drive to, to get the best possible speed. If you have a motherboard with two slots, in most cases you should install the SSD in the topmost place, nearest the CPU, to get the best possible speed. But again, you have to read your manual to see where you should uh, place it. And if you have one, just one slot, you can just place it there, of course. Also, if price is important, you should also check out maybe the MP600 core. Uh, it's a cheaper drive and uh, or the offerings from, for example, Samsung or Kingston. Yeah, I, it's not a sponsored video at all. I'm just showing you what I do here. I don't really honestly think you will notice that much difference in day-to-day -day work with let's say 4000 megabytes of read speed compared to 7000 uh, megabytes of read speed you get with this type of drive. So you are paying a premium to uh, get something you necessarily don't really need in a day-to-day -day, uh, setting. So it's, it's really up to you what you want. Anyways, I want to just show you some of my results with this drive. So uh, if we take a look at this image here. So I've been running Crystal Disk Mark. The drive where I have uh, 1900 megabyte read speed this is the Samsung 950 Pro. I think it's pretty good uh, considering it's a, a six year drive and uh, I actually did some uh, really hefty uh, uh, read and writes on this a few months ago as well. So it held up, still holds up. So it's a pretty, it's a really good drive. And here you can see the results from the the uh, MP600 Pro 2 terabyte drive, well over 7,000 megabytes of read speed, so it works works really good. Now I just want to do a file copy just to see how that works. So if we get to my PC here, I have a local drive. This is the SSD, and on my D drive here, this is a Iron Wolf Pro spinning hard drive, and I made a file here called test.zip. It's uh, seven and a half gigabytes. So I'm going to show you not something now. We're just copy, copying from the Iron Wolf drive to the SSD. Continue. As you can see here, the speed is going out, but it's probably not going full speed because I am recording with OBS to the same drive. So that was a little bit stupid of me. <laughs> I was copying a file like this when I was not recording a video. The uh, file copy was around 220 megabytes per second from the uh, Iron Wolf drive. But you can see here, it, 
it's increasing. But obviously when I am screen recording to the same 12 terabyte spinning drive, it takes up some, sp some of the speed, but we are at around 160 megabytes per second. But I've, if I didn't screen record my video now, it would probably be around 200 megabytes per second copying from my spinning drive to my SSD. So there's 7.5 gigabytes copied and it worked uh, just fine. So we can just delete that file. Now we are going to try some lost arc and I am going to start it now. So I'm not going to edit this loading screen. I'm going to just show it in real time, just how long it takes. That's what I would like to see if I'm going to buy this drive or some other drive. And uh, if we get into some server queues, I probably will edit the video. We don't have to see that. But uh, I just wanted to open up this game and just walk around a little bit, click on the teleports and uh, yeah, so you can see how, how fast it is. There we go. Let's do this. So it's loading. We have some sound. Looking for something. Okay, so let's go around here, just click on the NPC. See what happens. Okay, it loads instantly, almost. Okay, let's get try to teleport somewhere. Let's teleport down to the to the city here. Okay, teleporting, loading. Notice that it loads the sound a lot earlier than the video. Do you require assistance? Okay, here we are. Let's go hey, around. Have you heard? Demons have appeared on Ankumo Mountain. They Let's go into the. Uh, These demons are here. May the gods have. Let's go into the inn. <laughs> See how fast that is. Okay, there we are in the inn. Nothing enough to get me drunk. So let's go out. So. Got any news? <laughs> Works pretty good. We must pray even more in times like this. This looks a bit heavy. So it's not not that much loading time between sections in the game. Let's just try to go somewhere we haven't been in a while. Where are you from, adventurer? Watch out for the grave robbers. Okay, it's loading. So I just wanted to make this video so you can get a feel Those of it yourself. And here we go. It's not that, not that uh, slow. Pretty cool. Go back again. Watch out for the great. Here we go. Yeah. I think that's enough. So let's uh, quit the game. And we have some 
waiting time there as well. And now we are on the desktop. Now we can try Red Dead Redemption 2 with the Corsair drive and see how that game works. So we are loading Red Dead Redemption 2, connecting to Rockstar, and uh, we are waiting. We are probably waiting for some uh, server somewhere. It's taking its time. This is not probably the drive's fault, or maybe. Maybe it was. Okay, here we go. And... Okay, okay. Okay, let's go to story. And we are loading. Here we go, we are in the game. What's wrong with the camera? Okay, here we are. Let's get uh, to my horse. Yeah, obviously the game has loaded now, so we don't have any much issues going uh, around here and it works works fine no issues here except my GPU is uh, having some issues with uh, getting hot but that's not what we are talking about today and uh, yeah it loads and works just fine and let's quit the game Let's see if cyberpunk works. Let's try out cyberpunk. Continue without account and play. Okay, if you hear the audio, I had some audio issues with my uh, audio interface and uh, I've never been able to solve it and obviously it looks like I have it in uh, Windows as well. So I will turn off the audio before I'm testing it here. Changes in patch, okay. Okay, so audio sound I'm not sure what's happening but uh, Cybercap Punk has uh, never been able to work well with my uh, Fireface uh, USB audio interface and uh, all other games have works just fine but Cyberpunk it's uh, it's not working but it's loading fast for sure so the drive is working working as it should. Actually a little bit laggy. Maybe I'm running too high. Um, it's a little bit laggy. 
can I go out? No. Talk to Judy. Okay. I better get be going. Let's go out. There we go. No. Okay. Uh, it was a while. Um. Okay, where am I? Leave the apartment. Thanks. Okay. Okay, here we go. Outside. It looks... It's a really nice game. It looks really good. I'm just walking around, not doing anything. And, uh, well, it looks like the drive is working just fine. Hopefully I can get the sound fixed so I can play the game without any sound crackling. So, yeah. Let's exit the game. Confirm. So, that was how I am going to use this drive. And that what I wanted to show you. A uh, real-time or a real-world scenario, if you will. I needed a new drive, so uh, I have also reinstalled my system with Windows 11, as you may might see in the video. It makes the computer feel uh, really new again. The system works uh, really well. I built this system two years ago, and uh, it's still uh, working just fine. If you want to get one of the drives yourself or the uh, cheaper core version, check out, check out the links in the description below. So this SSD gave some new life to my system. My system is based on a AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. I built it two years ago. I actually have a video on my channel. It's uh, one of my most views videos, actually. It has uh, 32 gigabytes of memory and I have a 12 gig uh, terabyte storage uh, spinning drive iron wolf drive i'm using for uh, my youtube projects and uh, uh, other things if you want me to make a review of the system two years later and how it works thumbs up on the video or leave a comment below also the links to the drives are in the description below i also have a a link to the MP600 core version, which is a cheaper version and still a really good value. And I will probably get the, uh, the core version because it's so good value. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one and uh, take care. Bye bye.